One of the best things about PicoScope is that you can upgrade the capabilities of your instrument throughout the lifetime of the product through software upgrades. Our software team are working hard to develop new features and improve instrument performance in response to feedback and suggestions that we get from PicoScope users. The latest release of PicoScope, 6.11.7, is available to download now free of charge. To obtain this latest release, visit our website at picotech.com and click on Downloads. From the list of available downloads, click on PicoScope Oscilloscope Software 6.11.7 Stable Version and follow the installation instructions. The software is compatible with any PicoScope, however old or new the PicoScope product that you are using. If you haven't yet purchased your own PicoScope, you can still download the software and try it out for yourself with some simulated waveforms that we have included in the package. In this version of PicoScope, we have made a number of improvements, starting with the range and number of serial protocol decoders that are included as standard. There are new math functions for graphing frequency and duty cycle measurements. New waveform filters can be applied to simulate the frequency response of missing circuit elements. Mouse control of waveform zooming has been improved, together with better touch screen support. Logarithmic frequency access has been added as an option to the FFT spectrum mode. Waveform update rates have been accelerated by optimization of the core Picoscope FPGA code. And an often requested feature to save instrument settings on exit has been added together with a number of stability improvements and some bug fixes. Serial communications are widely used in today's electronic devices. Picoscope has included decoders for popular standards such as CAN, LIN, SPI, I2C and RS-232 for some time. With this release we have added 10 and 100 base T Ethernet. DMX512 lighting system control and DCC or Digital Command and Control Protocol for model railways. SENT, or Single Ended Nibble Transmission, is a point-to-point -point protocol that is often used for transmission of high-resolution sensor data in automotive applications. This example shows a typical SENT waveform, starting with a calibration pulse and then communication of two 12-bit data channels. Four bits of data are transmitted with each falling edge, with the value determined by the edge timing. In this example, Picoscope has decoded the waveform in the graph window, together with a tabular listing in a separate window. All oscilloscopes can measure frequency of a waveform, but measurement of frequency change over time is often needed, but is a difficult measurement to make. A new math function in Picoscope can plot frequency against time. In this example, the waveform frequency is being plotted so that we can see that the waveform frequency is modulated as a ramp function. On the right hand side, the axis is in megahertz for the frequency over time measurement. Measurement of frequency against time is extremely useful for measurement and validation of clock stability and characterization of phase lock loop performance. Duty cycle can also be plotted against time, which is useful for observation of baseband modulation signals and basic jitter measurements. Low pass, high pass, band pass and band stop filters are now included as user definable math functions. Filters can be used to simulate missing circuit elements and to observe the resulting waveforms. Picoscope now has support for touch screens starting with pinch and zoom which makes it easy to navigate large waveforms and to zoom into the specific area of interest. Zooming and panning large waveforms with a mouse has been improved too. Zoom is now centered around the mouse pointer and steps through in a 1-2-5 sequence. If you work in the frequency domain you'll like the new logarithmic frequency axis option. It helps when you need to see both low and high frequency characteristics of, a, of broad spectrum traces. As mentioned earlier, we have optimized the, the FPGA code that is at the heart of every picoscope. 
That optimization has helped to increase the waveform capture rate that can be achieved, which improves the chances of capturing infrequent glitches and anomalies. The actual waveform capture rate achieved depends on sev several variables, including the Picoscope model, the USB interface, and the host computer. Capture rates of over 170,000 per second are possible with the latest Picoscope 6000 series models. A nice and often requested feature is to have a Picoscope power up with the same settings it had when it was last powered down, instead of loading default instrument settings each time. This is now available by simply clicking the Restore Last Settings box in the Startup Settings panel. It's worth mentioning that the Linux version is available too and is being regularly updated. Most of the features of the Picoscope Windows version are now available in the Linux version and we're working towards full feature parity. At Pico we have a policy of continuous improvement so with each new release of software we take the opportunity to fix any bugs that have been identified and to make improvements to the overall stability of the software. Plus there are numerous minor improvements which we make to ensure your satisfaction with Picoscope. Finally please do take a couple of minutes while you're downloading the new software to give us feedback about your Picoscope and one improvement that you would like to see in the future. We read every single comment that you give and act on many of your ideas.